Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all, we are on the road again. But it's a little short road trip. I'm going to be doing a lot in this little short road trip. I'm going to let you know here in just a second. But it's the Chicken Fried Steak Adventure. I think adventure number six here. Adventure number six. You know, I got, what, about 30 more of these, 29, 30 more of these to go. And it's April, so I got to speed up the process, huh? But every two weeks I go. I'm on the schedule here every two weeks. So I, I should be able to fit them all in uh, before the end of the year. But we're going to Tony's Restaurant here in Sealy, Texas today. Sealy is about uh, 30 minutes west of uh, Katy. Out here where I live, out here we call it the country out here. Uh, and it's a small hometown restaurant. Sealy don't have, what, about what, three, 4,000 people in it at the most. And it's a place I've eaten at a couple of times before, but I've never eaten at Chicken Fried Steak. I found out about this place for a co-worker of mine about 15 years ago. They have an awesome breakfast, which they do. They got the awesome breakfast with the fresh grated hash browns and eggs. And it's just amazing. The breakfast is amazing. I've been a couple of times to the breakfast. I've never been here for lunch or dinner. So I'm going to lunch today out here and try the Chicken Fried Steak. You know, all restaurants, small town restaurants in Texas have Chicken Fried Steak. So... That's why I'm checking it out, and I got a good feeling about this place. Is it up to George's uh, um, level? You know, George's right now is leading. You know, George's in Waco with an 8.5. I think, uh, 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 what's the one I did a few weeks ago in Tomball is second with 8.0 uh, rating. So I'm going to see if it's up to George's level. So uh, anyway, when we leave there... Um, I'm going to head to Belleville. I need to get some summer sauces, sweet chipotle summer sauce from Belleville. Then I'm going to head to Hempstead, and uh, I'm going to check out the farmer's market. The one I always go to, the one I take, just take my mom to all the time, and see what they got out. I know it's still early. It's just springtime. I know the fruits and vegetables are not out yet, but I'm curious kind of see what they got out on the shelves yet and and uh, go from there. I need pick up me some cream peas. I know they're not fresh, but maybe they hell, they might be fresh. They might got a good spring batch of cream, uh, cream peas already, but I'm going to check that out. So we're going to do a little tour. Other than the chicken fried steak, I'm going to stop at a few other places along the way and uh, see what's good out there. But anyway, we're going to Tony's Family Restaurant right here in CD, Texas. Home of Eric Dickinson, the Hall of Fame running back for used to be for the SMU Mustangs and played for the LA Rams, the Indianapolis Colts, and ended his career with the Oakland Raiders. Yeah, that's his hometown where he grew up and played football, too. So if you're playing along at home, don't want to see the text the, the home of Eric Dickinson. So anyway, I will be right back once we get to Tony's restaurant here. And uh, we'll go in there and see what we got. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. And it's starting to rain out here, y'all. All right, that's Tony's restaurant. See it right there? And if you're playing along at home, this is Highway 36. This takes you to Belleville. That's where I'm going later when we leave out of here. Then you got Archie and West taking you to San Antonio right there behind me. Like I say, this is 36. Sit on right on 36 and Archie and West. Right here in Sealy, Texas. A little small, little small town. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to get in here and get out the rain and uh, show you a little bit what's going on in here. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we inside here. You can see a little nostalgia. How it looks in here, you got the little bar right there. You can sit the counter, you can sit on. You got the little plenty of seating in here, y'all. Last time I said I sit over there in the corner, but I'm sitting here by the window. See outside, a little rainy outside. But you just come in here and you seat yourself. A little country feel, got the little pies and cakes up in there. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Got the menu right here. I don't know how long this place been here. It doesn't say. You see the menu right here, and I got the special happen to be chicken fried steak on Wednesday today. Today is Wednesday. Look at that. I got lucky. You know, I got chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and corn. That's the criteria all the time, y'all. So, yeah, that's the, they got fried chicken today, beef chips, catfish. Yep, that's the special today. So, like I say, this is the menu here, and I've eaten breakfast here. It's been a few years ago. You see the breakfast menu here? They got a huge breakfast. And then you got the they got hamburger. I bet the hamburger is absolutely amazing too. They got fajitas. Got a lot of Mexican uh, food here. Yep. So anyway, y'all, like I say, I ordered my sweet tea. My sweet tea here. 
Hold on, y'all. Let me show you. One second here. Look at that. Look at that. All right, y'all. We'll be back. All right, y'all. We back. We got to taste this sweet tea here. Look at that. Let's check it out here. Oh, yeah. That's sweet tea, y'all. You ain't got to add no sugar to it at all. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. And y'all know I don't drink tea with a straw. I like the nostalgia of the glass here. You know, nothing better than a mason jar. They can drink tea out of a mason jar, but this is even uh, nostalgic, too. These kind of glasses in the restaurants. One thing I like about this, you just come in and seat yourself. And I think it's the regulars that come in here all the time, and you can probably see, y'all. So, yeah, you can sit at the counter, you can seat yourself back in the, they got booths, old school booths you can see, and then tables in the middle. So, I'm sitting here waiting on my chicken fried steak. I'll be back once you get here. Y'all, this chicken fried steak come quick. Look at this, y'all. Chicken fried steak, that's why I like it. Put me everything on my plate at one time. Look at that. Got my mashed potatoes here, corn. Got a roll there. Chicken fried steak looks pretty good from the start. Just from the presentation looks awesome. So I'm gonna get set up here and we're gonna dive into here. The gravy looks good too. Got a little black pepper in there like I like it. The mashed potato look real too. So the only one way to find out is the taste test. So we'll be back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, let me give y'all a zoom in here. They can kind of see what's going on here. All right. Okay, now let's see what's going on here, y'all. Here we go. All right, y'all. Here we go. First cut. Y'all already know my criteria. Now, I'm going to kind of get it. See the uh, grills on that knife? That's going to kind of take away from the smooth of the cut. But we're going to see here. A lot of thick bread in that, too. Okay, here goes. Mm. I'm going to give it another cut here. All right, here we go again. Here we go. You see that? Definitely tender. I don't need no salt and pepper. Let me try the potatoes with the carrots, y'all. Some corn, y'all know I like it like that. Let's try this out. That's good. And this, in these rolls, look at that. Hey, put some butter on here. Hold on, y'all. I think I got some butter over here. Land of Lakes. That's good butter there. Got top of the line butter. Okay, follow butter on these rolls. Look at that, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Got one more bite here. And then we're going to dig in here. I like the size. The size is good. Okay. All right, I'll give it a fair cut that time, y'all. Right, that's, that's a good bite there. See, that's a good bite. Mmm. 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 Not bad. All right, y'all. I'm going to step off here. I'm going to complete this meal. I'm going to give y'all my opinion. When we get back, we'll be right back. All right, y'all. I'm, I've eaten all I can eat. I've eaten all I can eat, y'all. And uh, not bad. Not the best, but not the worst. But like I say, I'll give y'all my final review. I'm too full to actually order dessert, y'all. Because I'm headed to Belleville and I'm headed to Hempstead. So I might pick up something to snack on there, dessert wise. But. Anyway, I will come back here and give y'all my final review of the place. Of course, I love the nostalgia. This is a breakfast first place. 
I let y'all know, but anyway, not bad, not bad at all. So, anyway, y'all, I'll give y'all my review. Once I get outside, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back for the final review. Okay, y'all, let me show y'all here with tax and tip. Was uh here we go. Tax and tip. Ooh, zoom in here. 2172. Without the tip, it was what 16 something. So not bad. Uh, I guess for lunch. I mean, it was a good size portion. It filled me up and I had some left over and I didn't bring it home with me. It wasn't enough to pack up. But my final reveal is the place is this is a, a rest a restaurant. This is a breakfast first restaurant. They have breakfast. They serve breakfast all day long from the time they open to the time. I think they open at 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. or maybe 6 to 10 p.m. or whatever. They have breakfast on. If you want a good country breakfast, this is what it is. Like I said, I've been two or, two or three times for breakfast uh, when I was on my way to San Antonio. It was right off the freeway. You hop on and hop right off. But the Daily Chicken Fire Steak, let's get to that. Uh... The chicken, well, you saw me cut into it at first. You see the knife. Sometimes the knife messes up the chicken by the don't have, It don't matter how good the bread is, it's going to rip it off. If you use the knife correctly, as I did later on in the steak, the breading stays on the uh, the steak very well. It adheres to the steak, so the breading was no problem. The flavor content could have been a little bit more seasoned, and the steak was a little bit chewier. Is that a is that a uh, word chewy? A, a little chewy than I, I like. I mean, it wasn't tough. It wasn't completely tender either. The uh, definitely was hand breaded. It come out quickly, but the thing is, the flavor content wasn't to the level. Uh, I didn't add any more salt and pepper because the gravy or whatever. I just it just it just needed more seasoning and it needed to be more tender. And um, Map potato was good. The corn was uh so so. The whole nostalgia of the restaurant, of course, I like the whole atmosphere. Only thing I don't did like and did like this is kind of it's gonna take weird. The waitress, I didn't see her after. <clears throat> I only saw her once, twice when she took my order and when she brought my check. That was it. Now I understand. I love when somebody will come and uh give me my stuff and leave me alone. But some waitresses and waiters or whatever, they at least kind of check on you. Know, is everything okay? Everything that wasn't here in this place. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm not a regular. What it is. Only time I saw her is when she took my order, and then when she brought my check. And lucky I didn't really need nothing. Uh, other than that, that's the, another uh, uh, negative that had nothing to do with the food. But it's just something I wanted to point out. And I, I never experienced this in this restaurant just for this particular time. So, yeah, but so anyway, on a scale of 1 to 10, y'all, I'm going to give this a 7, maybe a 6.5 because it's just not nothing. Will I come back and order another chicken pot steak here? No. Will I come back here and order breakfast again? Yes, most definitely because it's the breakfast first place. You'll see the menu if I scroll across or whatever, post the menu. It's like three pages just allocated just for breakfast, and that's what it is. But the chicken pot steak... Nah, uh, it's all right. I wouldn't. Will I come back again and eat here? Yes, but the chicken pie say no because it just ain't. It's, it doesn't blow my mind. So I give you about six point five on chicken pie steak, and uh, that's just my opinion. If you want to come check it out, if you're coming through San Antonio, you're coming from uh, California, whatever you use an ITN coming into Houston. If you I guess coming through San Antonio, you don't ITN East. If you're coming uh, from uh, uh, Katy, Louisiana area, whatever, head it out. The San Antonio area, you know, I-10 West. Uh, stop right here, right on 36 and uh, I-10, right here off the freeway. You can hop in and hop off. It's not a lot of tra it's not a lot of traffic, not hard to do. So, yeah. So, anyway, y'all, Tony's a family restaurant right here in Sealy. So, 6.5 on a scale of 1 to 10, and the journey continues on the next one. I'm about to head up to the DFW area for the next few ones. Chicken Five State. And this summer, I'm definitely going to be in West Texas. I'm going to be in uh, the Hill Country, Blue Bunny Cafe, and, and Mineral Wells. I'm coming to see you because I ain't heard nothing good things about you. Mineral Wells, uh, Blue Bunny Cafe down in Mineral Wells. I'm definitely coming to see you for that Chicken Fire State. 
So anyway, y'all, uh, Georgia's still leading. I don't, I'm not being biased with Georgia. Georgia's eight, Waco 8.5 right now still leading. I, I've got to go back to Georgia. I guess the end of the year, if it wins this thing, they are top of the line. That's the best chicken pie steak I've eaten in years. So they still leading right now. It's got to be something to get to his that level. So anyway, y'all, I will be right back. I'm headed to Belleville, Texas, right here on 36. I'm going to pop in and out periodically on my way to Belleville because it's a nice little ride in the country. And I'm going to make my way to Katy. I'm, if you familiar with this area, I'm just going to make a loop around. I'm going to proceed. I'm going to take 36. 36 will take me all the way to Belleville. 36 will take you all the way to Hempstead, which I'm going to go to the farmer's market. I'm going to go to 36, hop off there, and hop the back way, and I'll be in Katy. So it's about like a 45-minute round trip, right? Really, it's 30 minutes. But I leave right now and go to Katy through them areas. It'll take me about 30 minute drive, y'all. It didn't take far, really. It's just a light, picturesque view, and I'm going to take y'all along with me. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. We're about to head right here in Belleville, Texas, home of Belleville Meat Market. This is actually where I uh, get my uh, deer process here and down in Belleville. You know, I've been, y'all, I've done videos of this before. Just a little call, country, country town, country ride out here. Not a lot to see, a lot of ranches, and I guess to me, ranches and all that is really nothing, but to some people don't see ranches and cows and stuff like that, it's a big thing maybe to them. So anyway, I'll be back once we get to Belleville Meat Market. I'm going to see, I want some summer sausages, really, that's what I'm going in here for, and I always come out with something other than what I went in there for. So anyway, we'll be back. It's a nice cloudy day. It's supposed to rain, y'all. Uh, next two or three days here in the Houston area a lot. So it's starting to kind of rain right now. So Wednesday when I'm doing this video. And another reason I try to stay here close to close to uh, home because I, I know I'll be in Vegas next week. So I didn't want to really do a long road trip this week. And I got a long trip, long uh, trip, uh, like I said, next week. You got Easter coming up this weekend and a lot of stuff I need to get done for Easter. So I didn't want to go too far out from Dallas or too far out from Katy to uh to do a chicken five steak video. So anyway, y'all, I'm full right now, but I'm gonna see what else I can buy before I get to the house. Anyway, we'll be back once we get to Belleville Meat Market. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are in the Belleville Meat Market. See that Belleville Meat Market? This Highway 36 right here, y'all, and then you got 159, which turns into three four three uh was 529 up there, but. I don't want to confuse y'all. That's 36 right here, coming right out of Sealy. So you got Belleville Meat Market right here. And this, like I say, this is an old timey meat market, y'all. The old timey meat market. Got all this stuff up there. How you doing today? You got the pies in there. The old school pies. I think this buttermilk pie here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Buttermilk pie. I don't know if they got sweet potato pie here, but they got all kinds of trees, you know, all their products, trees. Uh, we do have, okay, they took all that off the shelf. I guess you got to ask for enough. They got all kinds. They got your bacon. I'm telling you, the smell in here, y'all, is absolutely amazing. They got chocolate cheese, y'all. Look at that. Chocolate cheese. That's interesting. All kinds of sausage in here. We got all kinds of jams and jellies. Let's zoom out, y'all, so y'all kind of see it. And then, like I said, I like the old timey sweet the poultry summer sauces. Definitely gotta get the sweet, this original right here. And I like the sweet chipotle. Sweet chipotle is the one I like right here. This one here is absolutely amazing. Well, they got pork and venison. Too. I got the beef, the tamales here, y'all. It's absolutely amazing. It's got so much meat in them. The tamales they make here absolutely amazing. I might have to get some of those, but this is what I like. See the old timey meat market here? You come up here and you ask what you need, and it's all, all good. Got all kinds of sausage up in here. 
Yeah. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back once I get my sausage. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all. See, they got the country style ribs there, one ninety nine. So I'm gonna get a couple of pounds of those. And they look at a nice. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. And I already got me some tamales here. Got some tamales. And sorry about the camera, y'all. Sorry about this crazy camera I'm holding it. Give me sweet chipotle uh, sauce, and I'm gonna give me a couple of pounds of the couple of pounds of those ribs there, and that's gonna do it. We're gonna head to uh, Hempstead here, y'all. So you see the country market back there, y'all. That's a weekly special, one ninety nine. So, yep, I come here all the time. I think I've been here a thousand times, not really, but a couple of hundred times. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Now we're headed to Hempstead. Hempstead, another little small town. You can see on that sign, Hempstead. That's where the meat market, that's where the fruit market. See that Hempstead, Texas? Now I can take this right here and go to Katy that way. If you're playing along at home, you take 529, it'll take you right to Katy, take you right to my backyard. But I'm going to loop around here and make a little loop around here to Hempstead. And uh, a little country, a little country ride, about 15 minute ride. To the next town, and that's where the uh, y'all know the fruit and vegetable stand where I get all my watermelons and green uh, tomatoes. That's really what I'm looking for today to see if they got green tomatoes because usually this is the only place I can get green tomatoes because y'all know I love me some fried green tomatoes. So, yeah, that's definitely something I want for Easter. And uh, I got to get me some more uh, ribbon cane syrup. Cane syrup I get from there. So, I need some more cane syrup. Honey, I got enough. You like get my honey from there. I used to buy more of them. My mama passed away. Of course, I, I used to buy honey for her, but I don't buy as much as I used to because, you know, my mom's not here anymore. But I still take a teaspoon of honey every... Y'all see on top of my stove, I have honey. I'll take a teaspoon of honey every day. That's some of the healthiest things you can do, but it needs to be real pure honey, though. And it's real pure honey is not cheap, y'all. So, yeah, it's just a little country right out here, and it's nice. It's April. Y'all know it's April 1st. Uh, first April. First week in April. You got all the greenies coming out. This way, it really, really looks nice to take a little ride up through here. And uh, like I said, nothing but, you know, people got ranches and cattle ranches, horse ranches up in here. And that's pretty much all you can see. And then your neighbors probably about an acre away from each other. Some of them close up on each other. But, yeah, that's pretty much all you can see. But we want to take y'all a little ride along. Like I said, 13 miles to uh, about 15 minute drive. To, uh, we don't say miles here in Texas. We say minutes. How many minutes it takes? They've got some cows out there. And a uh, matter of fact, it, the guy that I uh, get my free uh, oxtails from, I ain't gonna show y'all exactly where it is, but it's out here in, in that area too. He got a, it's a 250 acre cattle ranch out here. I mean, I get all the oxtails I can for free out here pretty much. So, so I come out here maybe a couple of times a month. You haven't called me about a month, but I'm just waiting on that phone call. This is the old guy, maybe about the early 70s. He's still out here, got a big old ranch, and he's still doing it. You stay working, and you stay alive, y'all. So anyway, just kind of scanning around here where y'all kind of see, you know, see the little countryside and stop raining, but the rain is going to rain a couple of, like I said, it's going to rain for the next few days. So everybody's about to bundle up here and get ready for this rain. In the Houston area, when it rained, it, it crazily floods like crazy. So, anyway, y'all, I'll be back once I get to uh, Hempstead. It's about, like I said, like 15 minute ride here from Belleville. And uh, we will uh, see what we can find in. Like I said, I'm just going to get me some, I need some more cane syrup. And I'm going to see if they got some uh, green tomatoes yet. And uh, and I'll see kind of what else they got. I know it's too early for the fruit and vegetables to hit peak. They don't hit really peak. Not really. They really start coming out in June. They hit peak around July, and uh, after July, the after the third week of July, it all goes down here for best fruits and vegetables from then. But anyway, I'll be back once I get to uh, Hempstead. Be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. We are back here, and y'all know this uh, fruit market, fruit and vegetable market, y'all. Y'all know this is my favorite one. I come here all the time. Been here a million times. Right here. Oh, and I get some VIP parking at the end of the day. I always get lucky. I always get lucky here. See, they got the plants out there, y'all. 
Got plenty of plants. I figured they'd have plenty of plants out. Yep. The wood, I don't need no wood. I got plenty of barbecue wood. But anyway, y'all, we're going to get out and see where we go. Fine. We'll be right back. Uh, y'all, we are back here. We all got the sucking list here. This is what I'm, I'm just, a, I'm telling y'all, I'm just a geek, goofy guy here. I'm going to go through these plants here. If my mom was here, she'd be going crazy just like me. We got the tomato plants here. Got plants here. Let me see what else we got over here. You know, I just finished planting my garden yesterday. And these are just herbs. You know, now, I'm not a big herb planter. I mean, I like planting herbs, but... I don't use enough herbs to to uh to uh to be doing all that planting the herbs, but I don't use enough of them. We got hot peppers here. What do we got over here? I don't see nothing here interesting. Now these are flowers over here, y'all. Got tomato plants there. These are just regular plants for your flower bed. Got more plants there. But I think we got a few watermelons in here, but it's not actually in our watermelon season. No, it's not watermelon season, y'all. These are nine, what, nine ninety nine? Excuse me. Okay, we'll see we got some green tomatoes over here. That's what I'm looking for. Green tomatoes, y'all. Man, I'm I don't like the smell of plums, but it's not going to be plums. It's too early for plum season. Let's see what we got. Do we got green tomatoes? That's definitely what I need me some green tomatoes. Boom, y'all out here a little. I don't see no green tomatoes. Well, if I have some green, I got some, but they're so small. Oh, they're too small. See? They have them. But they too small. I had to wait a couple of about a month, and then they have the huge green tomatoes, y'all. They have the huge ones. But you see right now, you, you see all this here, all these vegetables in about a month, y'all. The okra looks good. That's the okra here. I definitely need some tomatoes. The okra looks good. I think I'll get me some okra. I definitely got to get some tomatoes. I need a few tomatoes, but the seedless watermelon. I'm not a seedless watermelon fan, if y'all know enough. But, yeah, so let me check something else out over here. Let me check out my, uh, the, the syrup and the, the syrup I get here. The, the ribbon cane syrup, you know. When I get, I get it in here. Let's see here. Okay, let's see here. Where's my, where's my ribbon cane syrup? That's sorghum, molasses. Y'all know about that sorghum. This one I get right here. The cane syrup. I usually get this one here. But you got sorghum if you want it. You got black spat molasses. Well, a lot of people like this, but I'm not. I only like, uh, we got moonshine syrup. That's different. Moonshine syrup. I wonder what that tastes like. How much is it? $6.99. That's what it says. It actually, moonshine say corn syrup, cane syrup, water, caramel color. That's like, that's just sugar syrup, y'all. I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. It's got maple flavor. I know it ain't real maple syrup. It say maple flavor. There ain't no real maple syrup. Just some more cane syrup. This is a new kind they got. I'll stick to my old reliable. My old reliable here. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to change up here, y'all. I'm going to try this one out. It's new cane syrup. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give this one a try and see what happened. So, anyway, we even got a bigger one here. We got a bigger one here. Let me get the bigger one. This case is good. I'll get the larger jar. So, yeah, that's a new item. The moonshine syrup is new. Waffle syrup and the 
Well, that's, that's all new items. Let me show y'all something about the honey before I log off here for right now. Was it that? It was the honey. Let me show you how you know it's real honey. It's right here. See, they keep this honey. This is warm, y'all. You open this up and it's warm in here. And that keeps the honey warm. Like I keep my honey on my on my stove in my house. Because it real honey, if it doesn't keep it warm, it uh crystallizes. So and even tell you how, how, how healthy it is. See this? How the healthy has vitamin D and C. It speeds up the healing. I'm gonna say I take a teaspoon of honey every day. Every day. It's real healthy for you. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back once I sign on what I'm gonna get in here. We'll be right back. Alright, y'all, I'm back. Let me show you what I got here. I went really on got the big cane syrup. I love to cook with that. I'm going to try this moonshine syrup out. I'm going to try this. Look like regular sugar syrup to me. Look like honey, but look like I'm going to check that out. Y'all love these peaches, y'all. I done run out of my hat peach halves, so I love these things. I can eat this whole jar in two days. Don't judge me. And, of course, at the Belleville Meat Market, I got my... Sweet chipotle sausage. I got my tamales here. Full of meat, y'all. They got to make the best tamales. Then I got my pork. You know, my pork uh, country style reels. I got about, what, I got two and a half pounds almost for $5. Can't beat that. I'll make a video with that. Y'all let me know what kind of, how y'all want me to cook them. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, y'all, I'll be back back once I get on the road. All right, y'all, we are back to close this video out. All right, I'm headed down here. This is, uh, I don't know what road this is. I don't want to confuse y'all, but it's just a back way to Katy. All these hills, I say, ain't much to see. It's just warm lands out here. And I'm about 15 minutes, maybe 15 minutes from my house, from Hempstead. It takes me from my house to Hempstead about 20 minutes, actually, if I'm taking my time. So, nice little day here, do a good meal. And then dropped off a couple of places, all of it within all them places within 30 miles, 30 minutes of uh, where I stay. So I can go to those places and be within them within not even 30 minutes, depending on how fast I drive. And there's no traffic out here because I go the back way. It's all country. If you ever been in Katy, outside of Katy, it's nothing really but country and farmland. What I love about living out in Katy, it's like I'm in this, I have the city essentials, but it's not the city living. It's all low country people it's just like i'm in a small town so it's, it's a small town with a city uh centrals that's what it is so anyway y'all um let me close this video out if you like the video please share oh i didn't tell y'all what i guess that's all i need to tell y'all huh yeah i went to chicken fried steak i went to the uh belleville and went to him saying i already showed y'all what i got so i guess that's pretty much it so anyway y'all let me close this video out if you like this video Please share, please comment. Look at this over here, y'all. You got all that land ready planted. And I'm going to come out here in about uh, two months again to show y'all. I'm pretty sure he has corn out there. I'm pretty sure when you got that much land out here, it's corn pretty much. Because your corn can serve two purposes. You can sell the corn for the eating and then what's left over, you can harvest it for feed for animals. So it serves two purposes when you plant that much corn. I'm pretty much that's what it is out there. It's corn. It's going to be coin so i'll check back in a couple of months and i'll let y'all know i'll note this video to see i'm pretty much sure that's what it's going to be so anyway let me close this video if you like this video please share please comment please subscribe please follow my other social media accounts facebook youtube instagram twitter twitch tv pinterest and tiktok and old school soul food.com and the hashtag 2023 just show some kindness old school soul food the next time have a blessed old school soul food day and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed day and happy Easter. I love y'all. Bye.